Hello, I'm Barry John. Welcome back to Descent 2. I have three co-pilots and I'll let them introduce themselves after I finish saving the game. I'm Laylight and we're trapped in a series of twisty passages. I may or may not be solitaire. Uh, I'm Speedball and there's a lot of very angular designs here. Here for the episode. Possibly, possibly. But uh, after the very boring last level, I do apologize again for that, we are back to regular gameplay with actual enemies. Well, there's a red door. We found that one right away this time. <laughs> oh, is Solitaire okay? Like, uh, or is his, uh, is his, uh, you know, oxygen tank breaking on us? I'm fine. Well, we better go find another oxygen tank that's floating in the level and ram into it. So, any interesting changes to the bestiary on this level, or is it more of the it's same? It's more of the same. Uh, level 15, level 16 don't actually introduce new enemies, for the most part. Because at this point, you know, they've all been introduced. Eh, just more homing missile guys in open space. Fair enough. I mean, in, in a way, it's sort of like, we're over the halfway point. This is level... After including... Well, how about that Omega Cannon? Gonna be trying that out on anything? Uh, I keep forgetting I have it out of habit. Yeah, because it's not the Gauss Cannon. <laughs> True. It tells you something when the ultimate supreme weapon of the game uh, is still not the best. So as I was trying to explain about the uh, Omega Cannon on level 14, it has its own little energy capacitor that draws from the ship's energy like the Afterburner does. And it shoots, use, drawing energy from that capacitor. The sh so you can't full auto it from like 200 energy to zero like you can with the Plasma Cannon. No. Uh, but it has two special uh, things to it. The first is that uh, each individual frame of it, because it's a seeking weapon, is its own packet in terms of multiplayer usage. So it was this is the Omega Cannon was banned in multiplayer because it was known to uh, cause multiplayer games to basically stutter and stagger even on LAN networks. Because it was just too much uh, network traffic, because there were too many projectiles. Exactly. Uh, and number two is that it also acted as a shield regenerator. If you what? hit enemies with the Omega Cannon, it would restore your shields up to 100. Hmm. Of course, it's still no Gauss Cannon, but I mean, what is? And like I said, it looks like uh, a spell in another game I play, the way it... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the problem, is it looks cool, but it actually isn't that useful gameplay-wise, I guess, because you already have a hit-scan weapon. Mm -hmm. Or like a wide area, like you have the Helix Cannon if you really want to hit those little tiny drone guys in open space. Or, you know, fast-acting missiles or homing missiles. Yeah. It, it, I never. I mean, I guess technically the Omega Cannon might be more power efficient than the Helix, but you don't really need power efficiency in this game for the most part. Yeah, not when you have the Gauss Cannon to fall back on. I never got to play around with the Omega Cannon, though. Yeah, it seems like power efficiency only matters, like, in that one level where it was hard to get to that energy recharge center. No, I mean, I never found it. Oh. You have my sympathies. But this particular level, I, honestly, I think this level is a, a cooldown level, not just be, not just out of uh, punning. Oh, for the... yikes! Oh, what was ow, that? Ow! Ow! Okay. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, time to recharge shields. But I mean, this level is in a way a cooldown level, not just because of the uh, you know ice theme. 
Uh, there's nothing new in this level. Every, it's got just enough wide open spaces for you to duck and dodge and weave to your heart's content. Uh, there's no real requirement to use certain uh, guns in this. Or, you know, encourage to use certain ones. It's just, here's a level, fly through it, shoot everybody. Wash, rinse, yep, here's a bunch of enemies. I, we're not even going to put any uh, tricky puzzles or guided missile shots or tricky geometry or lava or stage hazards. Nope, just corridors and enemies. Have fun. And in, and in good game design, uh, the relaxing levels are just as important as the, uh, you know, the actual difficult levels. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't be at high tension all the time. You got to give the player an opportunity to feel like you know, to get into the zone, but also feel like they've mastered the flight controls, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, look how far we've come. We can handle a level like this, and it's no problem. Yeah. Probably. Unless you're me. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done any except uh, laugh at very done, so, you know. I liked when you hit that guy with the Merculite missile. Oh yeah, real highlight. Uh, quick goons, make a, a gif of me hitting guys with Merculite missiles. Mwah ha 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 God. Quick, we need hastily drawn comics of Merculite missiles. Stat. <laughs> hey, I had a hastily drawn comic of a, of a Mega Missile from the previous uh, game, which should be in, you know, the second post of the thread now. Yeah, we need photos of the Thiefbot on my desk by Saturday. Oh. Uh, Thiefbot. Threatening or menace? Uh, threatening, threatening menace. Now here's the thing. This is the third level in a row where they're giving out a uh, full map power-up. And I'm like, seriously, we went through half the game without this thing and now you're just handing it out like candy? What? What? What's up, guys? Hey, they gotta show off the maps. It's a power up. Alright, that just. Okay, there we go. I found the uh, appropriate exit to that now. I can go get it. And another reason for using guided missiles is to backtrack through uh, hidden passages. I did not know that guided missiles filled out. Oh, right, a full map. I didn't know they filled out your map. Yep. So, you know, but the thing about the full, like, looking at the full missile or full maps, like, you can look back and go, oh, wait, there's a secret passage there? There's hidden rooms there? I have to go back for them now? I mean, I guess it's better that they at least do appear on the map instead of... I know there's some games where you get a full map, but you still don't see the secret passages at all, because they're secret, right? Mm-hmm. But I, mean, I suppose it's actually so it's easier from a game design perspective to simply, you know, flag the whole map as pseudo-visible rather than just parts of it. Yeah, because that way you don't have to, e.g., mark particular sectors of a map as secrets. You just have them, you, you put your secret doors in, and that's it. You're done. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just... You don't have to worry about, like, skipping one, either. But, of course, you know, now that I have the full map, I'm always just paranoid about checking it. Oh man, what if this is the corner where I find that extra Mega Missile? No, this is not that corner. This is not that corner. This is only a tribute to that corner. Hey, and, uh, there we go. Another uh, energy converter. Not that I need it, but eh, I'll take the free energy. So does this mean that you can convert your energy to shields and then your shields back to energy? No, unfortunately. Or fortunately. 
but the real issue now is the uh, spawner right here. Oh yeah, those guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's a feature of uh, cranking the difficulty up at least a little bit. Yeah, playing on slightly more difficult than normal. And oh, there's 52 lives. 2,050,300. Yeah, starting to get into pinball points territory here. Just a little bit, though. Yeah. Oh, there we go, that's... But you could still go much further. Oh, yeah. And then beyond uh, pinball points, you have uh, gigawing points. And to get into, like, the tens of trillions of points. And, and then you have Final Fantasy hit point totals after that. Mm. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the other games where you just have your uh, score listed in scientific notation. Even I haven't seen any uh, games that went the uh, extra mile and gave you a score in uh, Newth arrow up arrow notation, though. <laughs> That's enemy hit points, though. Even in 14, the players' hit points are starting to get way up there. So, I finally get to go through the blue door a third of the way through the level. The, the, the timing. And it, sorry, I'm not... Part of what I'm doing here with checking out the map there is that I know that there's a trap room. And I have... Oh, two blue doors. Yeah. Okay. And I remember I, I want to show it off properly. Yeah, I mean, if there's a trap room, then the plot says we have to fall for the trap. So we have to go in there. Yeah, that's just... It's a little bit more complicated. And this is me going, wait, is it this? No, it's not this door. It's not this door. It's this door. And, yep. Sorry, I was just double checked because honestly, once I get the full map, I'm just so reflexively checking my map all the time. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like you have more information, when in reality, you honestly kind of don't. Like, you know where the blind corners are, but you still kind of have to fly through there anyway. And you're always assuming that there's going to be a blind corner or an enemy, like, right around this 90-degree bend anyway. Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell you where the enemies are. You have to guess that. Very true. Although you did do a pretty uh, bang-up job shooting that fish before it got you, though. Well, I was cloaked at the time, so it might not have been able to see me. It, it might not have been able to see, except for the fact that you were firing a whole lot. Good point. So I'm guessing the yellow door is probably way at the other end of the level. Yeah, then. there's a bunch of backtracking in this particular... Oh, wait, no, never mind, right there. Oh, okay. I mean, we still... It's just like we were saying in that other level, now you are actually passing by those spawners and giving them another chance to get you, so... There you go, I guess. Mm -hmm. But man, there are actually a lot of uh, digger... these melee guys in this particular level. A lot more than I'm expecting for after the past few levels. Well, even among like everything else that's been introduced so far with the uh, the missile shooting guys and the Gauss cannon guys, these claw guys still kind of seem like some of the most dangerous enemies in the game, just because they never stop clawing you once they're on you. Well, that and, you know, even if you do shoot them, they'll just retaliate with their own plasma missiles. Oh, 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 back up, back up. They also seem kind of difficult to just kind of fly past, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, They're kind of wide. Yeah. And I mean, when you're looking at these guys, it's a case of... They rarely show up by themselves. There's usually a lot of other... There's usually other enemies to going with them. So you find yourself in that position where you're shooting the guys actually shooting at you and ignoring the guy sneaking up behind you to stab you in the back.
And even if you do turn around and notice them in time and start firing on them, they have just enough health that they'll survive for a little while. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, even if you do blow them up with, say, the Gauss cannon instead of the energy weapons, so you still feel like you killed them in time, their explosion might hurt you. That is true. And fortunately, Gauss cannon guys still die so fairly quickly. Wait a minute, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Oh. They wouldn't just put nothing in there, right? Eh, I don't know. I mean, maybe they put in, you know, extra... Uh, extra deception. <laughs> yeah, or maybe, uh, somebody was here before us. And if the thief bot could pick up, you know all the uh, upgrades that were meant for you ahead of time, that would be the worst. Uh, speaking of, has anybody seen the thief bot? I haven't. Me nope. Wait, I thought you were the one who was supposed to be watching uh, the thief bot. Yeah, like, uh, here's the thing, though, I don't remember seeing the thief bot. Well, they're like babies, you know, if you take your eyes off them for three seconds, they could be halfway across the map. Maybe it is halfway across the map, hiding behind the red door. And I guess that one just spawned two of the little drones when it blew mm -hmm. up? That I was able to take out with one homing missile. Ooh! Yeah, that was guy was really far away when he blew up and still did that. Well, I mean, I guess we're not going to get lost at this rate, though, because now we have both blue rooms and gray rooms. Mm -hmm. And I have, you know, two colors of key, even. Of course, and this is me going, oh, wait, I'm on the wrong side of this particular branch of the level. Yeah, I mean, you can at least see the red key. You just have to figure out how to get over there. Well, we'll just have to break some more control panels. I'm sure that'll lead us to uh, some place or another. Well, actually, no, it turns off the lights in this room, which reduces the uh, enemy's visibility radius, which makes them not as quick to attack you. I don't know, that guy seemed to see it pretty easily. So the golden mines are the seeker mines, right? Mm-hmm. We the the mind, the gold mines that are dropped by mine layers only happen in secret levels. Okay, all right. I mean, to be fair, you're unless you're cloaked, you're usually like the 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 loudest object in the whole mine. <laughs> well, with the amount of firepower you're outputting. Very true. You're you're not exactly playing this very stealthily. Descent is not a stealth game. And of course, me just flicking on the headlights for a couple of seconds, trying to get things under control. Oh, so the headlights actually are useful for something. Yeah, the headlights mm -hmm. must be like incandescent bolts or something, considering how quickly they chew through our energy, you know? We need to get LED lights in there. <laughs> yeah, come on, Material Defender. Put, start getting some uh, energy-saving lights, uh, light bulbs installed. <laughs> But you may have noticed that little oddly shaped room uh, that I just bypassed there, and you're wondering, like, what's up with that? That's a very odd looking room, isn't it? Yeah, that was rude. That guy was hiding behind that door, and he just shot you as soon as it opened. I don't think there was really much you could have done about that one. But now that we have the red key, this door opened up, and ooh, hey, invincibility. Time to save the game, because this is a trap. Oh. Step one, I'm... Now, look at my rear view. 
I am trapped oh. in a room with... Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Oh. Hmm. So, people who are wondering what happens if you start bouncing off of... Uh, no, off these beams in tight corridors. This is what happens. Uh, I hope no. you're happy now. Your and wait till my invincibility. Wait till my invincibility runs out. So, uh. Now watch my shields. Oh no, you're melting. Wow, look at all the. And even your power ups around. are bouncing. Mm hmm. But, you know what? Let's deal with this trap room properly. Uh, Carefully fly in. The yep. That one. Uh, the other one does not let hey, you Hey, wait out. a second. Wasn't there another switch yes, there? Yes, there are four switches in there. And if you... If you shoot any of the other three, it turns on that... Uh, it turns on that uh, exit. Sorry. It turns on the bars blocking the exit. So if you shoot the one that turns it off, then shoot then shoot one of the ones that turns it on, you're screwed. Oh wow, that's just mean. <sighs> and now it's time to go find the red door. While I have the Mega Missile equipped. Probably a good idea. Whoa, we should use it for yeah, something. That was a good use of it. Yeah, that that seemed reasonable. That that's a reasonable thing to do with that. And there's another one, so you know it's all good. Yeah, use yeah, it. The, the be I mean, when you get down to it, Descent is not shy about uh, throwing you know more guns at you because it knows you're going to use them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the resources, for sure. I mean, it's been a while since we saw a big, huge clump of enemies like that, but I guess if you were hanging around the spawners or you didn't know where you were going, that could certainly happen more often. Mm -hmm. And especially on the higher difficulties, like, you have to exterminate everything you can, so... Oh, yeah, jeez. Flank, just going, scooting right around the corners and then shooting you. That's uh, some advanced level of tactics there. Sorry, I was like, okay, this guy here popped up behind me. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that did... Yeah, it's, uh, getting yourself caught in a little tiny, uh, area when you have, like, five enemies shooting at you. That's, uh... And, honestly, kind of good that you got out of there with even that much mm -hmm. health. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the only logical, reasonable thing to do is just run. Yep. And that's just me plotting out to access that uh, secret area I missed. Come on, figure out the best way. Figure out the best way. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's another thing that this game does, is you just uh, do some routine fighting, and then every now and then, a fight goes really, really wrong. <laughs> God, this place is big. But fortunately, you know, we're on the back half of the game, so there's going to be... It gets a little bit more bearable, because they, they stop... At some point, the des descent design level... Yeah, descent level designers stopped assuming that you know bigger was necessarily better. Yeah, I mean the only thing a really larger level does is it kind of uh, wears the player down a little bit, which can be nice if you're going for that kind of thing. But otherwise, it kind of dilutes like I guess like the impact of any one particular section of the level. Mm -hmm. And I mean it. Because, like, usually the big set pieces are over by the keys or the exit or whatnot, but if you have a huge level, that kind of spaces them out more, for better or for worse. Yeah, and, it, and to be fair, like, these levels were designed to be played 
they have mid-level saves for crying out. You can save any win, anytime you want, anywhere you want. Yeah, I guess that means you don't ever technically have to lose a life if you don't want to. And, you know, you can always just find a safe spot, park, and come back later on. Yeah, or like backtrack half the level and refill your energy and come back. Mm hmm should be, like, attacked by killer refrigerators in this level, you know? Something that, uh, like... <laughs> uh, yeah, if, if, the, if the monsters, if the enemies were themed after the levels you you were in, you know? I mean, we've all seen plenty of mining, but this is all supposedly mining operations, but, you know... Yeah, everything kind of shoots projectiles. We haven't really seen any kind of, like, constant lasers or circular waves or anything yeah. like that. Anything line of sight or proximity based. <sighs> I mean, I, I think it's fair to say the most interesting attack in this game so far has been the oh, homing yeah. missiles. Uh, and the thief bot. There he is. Now you die. No, I haven't killed the thief bot yet. That was just a regular con or homing missile Hulk. No. Yeah, I think he snuck he was, underneath he you. He was I joking think. around right in front of us for a second, wasn't he? Yeah. No, that was a mine layer. Oh. Oh, okay. And there's the exit. Oh, tucked away in a dark corner, of course. That looks like it'd be easy to fly past if you didn't know it was there. Remember, guys, always find the exit first. Case of emergency, nowhere I don't think. Yeah, I mean, again, I'll just say it again. It was in a dark <laughs> corner. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, it's if you can see the timer here. Like once I picked up the red key, it was all. It was very. Quickly, it's a quickly resolved level after that. The the real difficulty in this level is just getting to this point. And as you said earlier, the tedium. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, it's not just about, like, the resource depletion and, like, getting hit by miscellaneous little projectiles and missile splash damage. It's actually paying attention, too. Uh. And the game has still shown that it will try and kill you if you're not paying attention. Just checking for any last tricks. Do not run into enemy shots. And then it's just a matter of one reaction. Self-destruct sequence activated. All that and, you know, dealing with the enemies that just spawn in. But that was it for level 15. Uh, join me next time, guys, when it's time to hunt down a boss. Awesome. My favorite level. See you then, folks. Yep, and just give me a couple moments here to go. Oh, wait, it's behind me. <laughs> there we go. Who would ever look in this dark corner? Dark corners of the not-Earth.